guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We're back here at the Dream Giveaway Garage, and I have that four-door muscle car that you are yearning to see more of. This is it. This is a 2021 Dodge Charger Hellcat Red Eye, but guess what? Our Hellcat Red Eye has some modifications done to it. But before we get into this supreme four-door performance machine, let's talk about what's going on here, the Dodge Charger been around since the 1960s. That's actually before the Dodge Challenger. Dodge Challenger didn't show up until 1970. But the great news is, is that really was the true birth of that muscle car era for Mopar fans, not only here in the United States, but worldwide. Now, the original muscle car days are long gone. They've been gone since around 1972. Maybe, if you really wanna look and dig deeply, 1973. But other than that, Horsepower took a back seat to a bunch of other things that were going on in the mid 70s and into the early 1980s. Now, when it comes to performance, the great news is we're in this version 2.0. Now, the bad news is muscle car version 2.0 is going to be coming to an end because as EV vehicles become more popular, these fire breathing V8s are going to take a back seat permanently. So, what I want to find out is we got the keys to this 2021 Charger Hellcat Red Eye, which means we got more horsepower from the factory, but we also have modifications done. So what I wanna find out is, first of all, do you really need to modify a Hellcat Red Eye, whether it's a Charger or a Challenger? And in our particular case, does this one have the right mods? So without any further ado or further waiting, let's go ahead, let's dive into our 2021 Charger Hellcat Red Eye and answer that muscle car question. Right off the bat, I love the purposeful look of the body lines. Now, when you go, obviously, Hellcat Red Eye, you're going with that wide body, you're gonna get almost three inches of width to the front end of the vehicle, and it all starts with those fender flares. Love the way it's molded into the front fascia as you drop down and get ready for our first modification of the day. We have a full carbon fiber splitter from APR. It is adjustable and it does split the air. That's why they call it a splitter. We're stopping the air from going underneath as much as we can because that will lift the front of the vehicle and we wanna give us downforce and we wanna get air into all the functional vents. And the great news of the day, the F word, get your mind out of the gutter, is the name of the game on this Mopar product because all the vents are fully functional. These lower corner vents, we're gonna channel that air in. I'm so glad they went flat black instead of gloss black especially since we added the carbon fiber front splitter. You're gonna have LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, and then as we kind of slide across from those headlights, we see that mean grill. And I actually think that the front of a charger, when it comes to the wide body look, whether it's a Scat Pack, a Hellcat, or a Hellcat Red Eye, looks more aggressive than a Challenger of the same type. We went ahead and changed out the badge up front. We have the Hellcat badge, let people know what they're seeing as you're coming up behind them. We have the optional flat black racing stripes from the factory, giving it that extra mean look. And then as we work our way down, fully functional flat black on that lower grill. And you'll notice the strut rods that are adjustable here to change the pitch, the angle of that front splitter. I like the way they went with red to kind of blend it all in. But when we go from that aggressive look sitting here, that muscle car look, we're gonna climb up on that hood. What do we have? We have a bulge, a massive muscle car bulge. And the great news is underneath that bulge, we got the power to back it up. It's one thing to have a bulge and nothing behind it. This, we got plenty behind it and you'll see. Flat black racing stripes, functional center scoop and functional heat extractors. The great news is for 2021, this hood is all new. So if you're like, well, I got a Hellcat, Joe, a Hellcat wide body, Mine sort of looks like that. No, it doesn't. These heat extractors are actually totally different. But as we come around the bend, because remember, you could use this on a drag strip, you could use this on a road course. We're talking about turns, we come around the turn. What are we looking at with those sexy fenders? We have 20 inch wheels. These are the optional Sidewinder wheels, metallic gunmetal gray, like the way they went red with the SRT badge. What does SRT stand for? Yes, you in the back, eating that, that big Philly cheesesteak. Yes, you are right. Street and racing technology. That's what it stands for. 
This is the last year of SRT bringing us all this great horsepower. You got those massive six piston Brembo calipers. Nice tomato red are gonna squeeze down on those 15 and a half inch rotors. They're two piece, which means they're gonna be lighter rotating mass and it's gonna help dissipate heat and it's gonna help slow this vehicle down because it's not just about going fast in a straight line. You wanna be able to shed that speed. Getting the traction to the ground, all four corners, we got these continental tires, 315 on the width. Think about that. Let's talk about modifications. We talked about the splitter. We talked about the badging. These tires are wider than stock tires. Stock is 305. These are 315s, 30 series sidewall. Those Continental uh, Sport Contact gonna give us that sport grip to the asphalt that you want. And they even went ahead and put the little, it's the little things that add up to the big picture, the little Hellcat valve stem caps there looking good one last thing to remember about the brake setup is the way you know this is a 2021 mopar product is they put the srt badge on the calipers only year they've done that so that's an easy kind of way to find out if it's a 2021 now going into that fender we have the gloss black on the hellcat badging you have the ruby red that ruby there for the eye the red eye that's actually a ruby that comes from the pyrenees mountains over in Europe. And then as we drop down the side, what do we have? We have a nice addition of a wrap to kind of give it that extra aggression and separate it from the rest of not only the other muscle cars, but the other chargers out there. Really unique how they took the striping, the red, R, red eye badge. This striping is synonymous with Mopar. If you look at the original 70s muscle cars, they were really into flat black diagonal stripes on the side of the vehicle. So they brought that in with the red eye badge. And then of course you got that screaming Hellcat on the side. All the little intricate detail work, tons of man hours to put this wrap on and make it look super clean with all the fine touches. That Hellcat is gonna rip off a Mustang or a Camaro owner's head like that lickety split coming down we are going to have to zonk it though i wish they would have done something a little bit different with the rear pillar this line is kind of bothering me so i would like to bring it down and another thing i would like to do is we have those flat black op optional stripes they're gone from the trunk so how about peel some of this back on each side and then run the stripes with the red showing through so you could have a little bit of flat black trunk but also have some red so we could have those stripes come all the way to the back. But what we do have is one sexy back. And what adds to that sexiness is this carbon fiber trunklet spoiler, massive from APR. It's got the nice rise. It does provide actual downforce. This has been tested in a wind tunnel. Nice dip in the center. And speaking of dip, let's dip on down to what we got. We got the Hellcat badge. They changed that out just like up front. We got our blacked out charger badge. There's those stripes finishing off. Still gonna zonk the rear diffuser. I wish somebody out there, phone a friend, do something, spin a bottle. Where's a rear diffuser? Nice custom rear diffuser would set this off because check out those Flowmaster exhaust tips. So we have Flowmaster mufflers, give us even more growl. I love the gloss black with the flat black on the inside, that SRT badge, the LED lighting, really, really wide, very aggressive, just like up front. But why don't we pop the hood and see what's powering this Hellcat Red Eye. All right, guys, we got that new for 2021 hood open on this Charger Hellcat Red Eye. You'll notice where that functionality from that center scoop dumps the air from the top into this engine compartment with the SRT badging. The other thing you're gonna notice is a ton of carbon fiber and beautiful brushed aluminum. That is the handiwork of American car craft. So that is another modification all of this aluminum work. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section on top of the supercharger, where the battery's located, where all of the containers, everything has been covered up with carbon fiber. Even the way that they did like the supercharge name there with the Hellcat logo. So what are we looking at other than just the touches by American Carcraft? You have spark plugs that have been dropped in by E3. There's been some support work with Holly and Flowmaster, and then of course, APR. But the great news is, what about performance? We're talking about that 6.2 liter supercharged V8, stock form, 797 horsepower, 707 
pound-feet of torque. We do have a leg maker carbon fiber air induction tube. So you'll notice that carbon fiber air intake, ramming it right into the throttle body. That's gonna give you a little bit more, but still, at the end of the day, 797 horsepower stock. It is mated to a ZF eight-speed automatic transmission. Dodge calls it the torque flight transmission. Zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds, top speed, 203 miles per hour makes this the fastest four-door production muscle car in existence weighing in this is the the downside 4596 pounds so the charger is heavy but boy oh boy does it have the muscle car horsepower to back it up i don't know about you looking at that flowmaster exhaust out the back look pretty sexy Let's fire up this Hellcat and hear its roar. guys we're in this 2021 hellcat red eye that four-door muscle car used to be back in the day you would say that car has two doors too many but now they've proven the mopar team the srt team has proven you can have your four doors and you can have your muscle car bulge and all the power you want but i know you're at that point where you're like joe this is badass i want one of these how much is it msrp this one basically has all the options checked off, is a tick under $90,000. The great news is this one you can actually get for your garage. It's a giveaway from Dream Giveaway Garage. The even better news is click the link to get the Dream Giveaway Garage in the description. Use the promo code Radies Rides. If you spend $25 or more, you'll get double giveaway tickets. And I do not get paid to say that, nor do I get any kind of compensation that is just something that dream giveaway garage wants to do for the radies rides fans so let's go ahead and see what you're going to get if you win this one to the door panel you're getting that premium what dodge calls the premium interior so you're getting smooth soft touch up top the white contrast stitching in the center you have that diagonal stitch work if you work your way underneath the armrest you're going to notice the word supercharge that's been another nice touch with carbon fiber and aluminum from American Carcraft. They did not change the door pocket, which is great. That means you could get your foot-long meatball sub with extra palm and mozzarella added to it and have it in there with a bottle of Pepsi Clear to wash it down. Now, going from the door panel to the dash, the SRT logo, looking clean, just like always. I like the smooth, premium-style interior. What's even more smooth is all the carbon fiber. So this has the optional carbon fiber package. You're gonna get that 8.4 inch Uconnect system with the performance pages that we have up. If you wanna see more of this, we've done it in other Dodge Charger, Dodge Charger Scat Pack, Hellcat, and Hellcat Red Eye reviews. Look for that on Radies Rides. But I love all the gauges, nice, clear, and it's a good size, integrated. You don't have to worry about iPad style. If you don't like the screen, which you can touch, you do have buttons. If you rather touch buttons than the screen, you got your SRT button to get into performance pages, launch control, obviously all the radio controls, AC controls. The next mod is from the folks over at Hearst Performance. You're gonna get that Hearst Performance pistol grip shifter. Look it up, use the Google, use the interwebs. This pistol grip is synonymous with Mopar. Originally, it was just used on the manual transmission, but Hearst has added it to the automatic setup and it's looking just as good as it did back in 1970 here on this 2021 but another modified touch more carbon fiber we open up the door what do we have we have the red key and then you're also going to notice this little remote control we have tons of led lighting underneath the hood around the vehicle you could go through a plethora of different colors that's all done through Oracle. So that's another modification with the red key. Gives you that 797 horsepower, soft touch, and then seats. Nice, large, and in charge. 
very comfortable, not the best bolstering, but at the drag strip and on a long family trip, they will hold you in place. Of course, we got the demonic red. Yes, demonic red seatbelts, five extra horsepower just from these seatbelts and your standard sunroof and Alcantara all over the headliner, including the A pillars. But why don't you come on over to the business end? I wanna show you where you will be trying to tame this Hellcat as you're going down the quarter mile. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel of this beast. You'll notice American Carcraft added these beautiful aluminum sill plates with the supercharged name. You can see the LED lighting, nice bright red to match the torrid red color on the exterior. Seats are comfy. I'm six feet tall, fit just fine. You can even be a little bit taller and adjust the seat. Steering wheel, love the leather, love the contrast stitching. What I'm gonna zonk, it's not a flat bottom steering wheel really, and this plastic is really cheap. If you're getting the carbon fiber package, this should be carbon fiber. And then the dash, it's a nice mixture of old school and new school. So you got the nice bright red gauges and that large digital display in the center, gonna give you all the readouts, all the information that you need. We're not doing the back seat. That's already been done on Rady's Rides. Check out the other Charger reviews. We're not even doing the trunk, because I don't care. What I do care about is exactly what you care about. We're going on throttle in our Hellcat Red Eye. All right, guys, we're in this 2021 Dodge Charger Hellcat Red Eye with the modifications all being put together by Dream Giveaway Garage and has an awesome connection with Leah Pruitt and Big Daddy Don Garlitz. But I know what Leah and Don are all about, or I should say Big Daddy, they're all about that on throttle. So if you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. <laughs> oh my God. That's what's wonderful about this Hellcat Red Eye is that 797 horsepower from the factory. Yeah, you could throw more mods at the engine. And obviously Dream Giveaway Garage has done that with previous giveaways of Mopar products. But if you can't get the power to the ground, you're just, you're just spinning those tires and you're not going forward. So glad to see that they kind of kept this one horsepower wise stock because I think it's got plenty, a whole box of good and plenty worth of horsepower interior nice touches with the brushed aluminum and the carbon fiber and obviously the optional carbon fiber uh package on this one but let's go on throttle on throttle. here we go yeah Woo. <laughs> You're getting more muscle car rumble. You're getting the looks. I'm telling you right now, driving down the road, people are like, WTF? I don't want to mess with that car. This car just looks that badass. And it's 6.2 liter supercharged goodness. You can't go wrong with that. And you got the four door usability. Once upon a time, that wasn't even a possibility to think of a four door car as having gobs of performance, but you get it and you get it under warranty. And that's the even better part of it. With those 315s, I am noticing some better cornering grip for sure, all four corners and getting power to the ground with those Connies really, it does a great job. It really, really does. I'm gonna get to a clear area and uh, showcase the launch control, uh, but this thing, I'm telling you, it's just ridiculous on so many different levels. And you got that big bulge, muscle car bulge staring right at you, smack dab in your face. I mean, this thing is, why on the GT500 they don't, they don't showcase that supercharger wine is beyond me. It really, really is. All right, guys, here we are. I'm activating launch control. You simply hit the button, apply that left foot on the brake all the way to the floorboard. Give it throttle. Here we go, yeah! <laughs> Woo! Nice, brakes feel good. Look at this, look at this. Here we go. Woo! 
Nice shift from that gear, but look at that down shift. <laughs> Little burble from that exhaust. Wow, 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 wow. This thing is ridiculous. From a look standpoint, a performance standpoint, absolutely mind blowing. All right, guys, one more time for you. Definitely one more time for me. On drive, here we go, yeah! <laughs> Smoke them if you got them! Woo! On the brakes. Nice downshift from the gearbox. Look at this. Just really, for a, a traditional, conventional torque converter automatic transmission the torque flight does a great job that zf eight speed automatic does a great job of keeping it in the right gear down shifting nice as you're slowing down and yeah is the car heavy sure it is a four-door car and it is really that true essence of a muscle car absolutely phenomenal though performance bar night right, guys what i want to do is i want to use the paddles behind the steering wheel to go up and down that torque flight eight speed automatic I wish that's a zonk. I wish the paddles were larger and that's definitely a modification. Change the steering wheel and change to some larger paddles, but let's go ahead and go on throttle first gear. On throttle, here we go, yeah! <laughs> Smoke them if you got them. God, look at this. I feel like I'm in the Millennium Falcon. It really accelerates that hard. No exaggeration whatsoever. Just going around some dirt that's down in the road from the construction there, but the acceleration is so hard in this Charger Hellcat Red Eye. Unfreaking believable. And the shift's so smooth. On throttle, here we go, yeah! <laughs> oh my God. I tell you, somebody's gonna be a very, very happy camper with this Charger Hellcat Red Eye. But let me know what you think about the mods. Put it down in that comment section. It stops on a dime, gives everybody change. There's actually some change right here that I'm gonna give to some people. Right here, let me open up the window. We got some change. There you go. Stop on a dime, give everybody change. I just literally did it. First time ever on Rady's Rides, by the way. Wow, this is, this is freaking insane. On throw, here we go, yeah! <laughs> Woo! Nice! Shh. We gotta get back to Dream Giveaway Garage and wrap this one up. I know they want their Hellcat Red Eye back. I don't want to give it back, but we gotta get back and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been another mind-blowing muscle car kind of day here at Dream Giveaway Garage. I definitely want to thank Lori, Boomer, Ryan, Chris, the whole crew, so accommodating to get us access to these amazing vehicles that they are assembling as their dream giveaway garage. A muscle car. A muscle car in stock form has so much performance, so much style. This one obviously has had some things done to it. Let me know what you think. Were the right mods done to this Dodge Charger Hellcat Red Eye? And does a Charger Hellcat Red Eye even need to be modified? Let me know what you think in the comment section. But if you want to keep seeing muscle car fun, muscle car power, and of course, those bulges, those muscle car bulges here on Ready's Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Ready's Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you, two ways to do it. Click the first link, become a Radies Rise Patreon member. Click the second link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. We got to give it up to the muscle behind the camera. She's getting this muscle car from every angle. Show Lori some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.